guys know what this load is, because I already told you. So pay attention. You guys are going 3,000 foot a second. I'm going to go one click left. Well, it feels like you're getting punched in the face. <laughs> I got it again. I think I got it more blown. The time I flipped it up. I hit two. Hey guys, Link Cack here. Um, as you can see, I got the uh, my national match M1A up on the bench again, and I had to kind of start from scratch because I took this uh, the the scope and rings off of this one, put it on the other M1 I built because I wanted to try this uh, Vortex scope on it as opposed to the Springfield scope. Like I've explained before, the Springfield scope is good scope, but it's got quite a bit of parallax, so you have to be extremely diligent to make it work properly. Um, so anyways, I try, anyways, long story short, I put it back on the M1, and of course that had a SADLAC mount on it. This is a Springfield mount, and the uh, two were so different that I mean we're talking about a couple of full turns on the elevation turrets and windage and stuff so I basically had to start from scratch had to do a um, an iron sight bore sight so to speak to match it up to the scope I mean you can't do a bore sight on an M1 obviously so I know the iron sights are, are on target so I can see underneath the mount the iron sights and so I matched up the iron sights and the scope and that's how I Get, uh, get it started so I can get on paper and it works pretty good but uh, so I actually took actually took my first couple of shots were at 50 yards to get it uh, to get it on paper kind of get it zeroed and then I moved it out to a hundred yards and I took a couple more shots with the uh, surplus ammunition but actually it shot pretty well and so I think we're good to go um, so what I'm going to do now is I want to try a uh, couple. I'm going to try a uh, couple of different loads, but really the only difference in them is one. One of them is 175 grain Sierra Match King, and the other one is 175 grain Nosler Custom Competition. For all intents and purposes, I can't really tell the difference between the two of them, but they're on top of uh, 40 grains of IMR 4895. Pretty a pretty conventional load for an M1A and uh, so anyways I'm going to take a few shots with that and uh, kind of get it uh, get this thing put back where where it all belongs so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take uh, five shots with the uh, these are the Sierra 175 grain match kings and like I say, to put the two next to each other, the, the Nozzlers and the Sierras, um, I can't really see a difference in them. I don't know, maybe they fly different or something, but I, I'll bet you they both shoot about the same. So here we go. Um, I think I'm going to shoot at the uh, black shoot and see. So let's uh, let's see where these go. Like I say, I just zeroed it for the um, the 75 by 51 NATO surplus ammo. So it might be a little bit different. I might have to make an adjustment on it, but we'll see. And so here we here we go. right there okay that was a good first shot that uh, 11 o'clock touching the orange bullseye right there too
Wow. God, I gotta look at that, but that looks pretty snappy to me. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I, uh... Yeah, that's pretty snappy right there. Good ammunition. Good scope. Excellent rifle. And that's what you get. You get a nice little group. That was awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to head down range and take a look at my target here. Well, guys, there you go. There is five rounds right there out of my M1A. That's with the uh, Sierra 175 grain Match Kings, 40 grains of IMR, 48.95. And damn, that is the fruit of that's the fruit of my labor after uh, rebarreling that thing and rebuilding it. I'm definitely happy with it now. That's, in my mind, that is excellent. All right, guys, there's uh, five rounds with the uh, Sierra 200 grain VLDs. Not too bad. Had one kind of get a little away from me there. And that was the 175 Nosler Custom Competitions there. And then more of the same, just one more grain of powder. So that's not too bad. But in all honesty, it's not every day you see an M1A out shooting the uh, Gruning Precision. Huh, interesting. Okay guys, I'm going to take five shots with these uh, vintage 200 grain Sierra match. <laughs> Lower left hand diamond. Oh yeah, that's getting right after it. Uh, 
Well, point of impact's a little different from the uh, previous ones I've been shooting, but we'll give it a try. See what kind of group it'll get. So far, not that impressed. But, you gotta shoot them up sometime. Now yeah, looking at that last shot, being right by my first one, I may have pulled that second shot a little bit. Yeah, I probably pulled that second shot a little bit. I mean, we're, granted, we're splitting hairs here, but nevertheless. Well, that one wasn't too bad. Like I said, that one second shot got away from me just a little bit, but the rest of them are pretty much right there. Um, Anyways, guys, I think uh, I think I've uh, taken care of what I need to take care of. Primarily, I wanted to get the M1A sighted back in. Um, so that's uh, that's where we're at, guys. I uh... all right. That was my last group right there with the 200 grain Sierra Vintage Match Kings. Eh, had three of them that were pretty good, but I don't know. I think my my uh, aiming is a little bit off today. So anyways, that's what you got. But my prize of the day is the group I shot with the M1A right there. Another day at the range with Lencat. But uh, all right, that's, uh, that's it for me today. This is Lencat over and out.